Hello and welcome back to Paul's Halls. My name is Paul and this is my hall. This is the Selbyville Public Library's unboxing of books that we have gotten for you, our amazing patrons. This is just a reminder, the Selbyville Public Library has a ton of programs going on all the time for all ages. Please check out the link in the comments or the description uh, to go to the event calendar and see what is going on at our library. A lot of things you do have to sign up for, so make sure you sign up for the things that you are interested in. Also, the best way to support the library is to use your library. So stop by, uh, borrow some books, borrow a couple extra books, and come to our amazing programs. Just support us by being involved with uh, the library. However, if you would like to support us monetarily, uh, there is a link below to our last final push for funding for the library, the new one. Uh, this will help cover expenses that are operating costs. So uh, please help us with that to help make sure that we have a lot of money to operate our new wonderful library. There are naming opportunities for different types of places in the new library. So if you're interested in that, uh, come in and see Kelly Klein, our director. Hey everyone, I also wanted to share that we got some new toys in the children's section. Uh, we have this little cube with the squares that you put in the different holes. Very fun and interactive for youngins. Uh, we have another dexterity skills thing with the holes in the pegs on this little thing here, which is really cool. My personal favorite though, is this little ice cream game. You use the magnetic uh, peg here and you carry the balls up into the correct color of ice cream. As you can see, I'm not very good at it. The kids are probably much better than I am. We also have this carton of eggs that have a lot of different shapes inside that the kids will match. And then lastly, we have these cool dinosaurs where you can mix and match the different heads and the different legs as well. It's very cool. So I'll stop by the library to play with these awesome new toys. Without further ado, let's get to today's book and see what we got today in the mail. All right, in this box, we have a few kids books. We have a young adult book and then an adult nonfiction book. Let's go with the kids books first. The first is a juvenile graphic novel of the Babysitter's Club. This one is called Claudia and the Bad Joke. These are, of course, um, based on Anne Martin's very famous series of books, The Babysitter's Club. The graphic novel, though, for this one is from Arlie Nopra. Arlie Nopra. Uh, these have found a brand new audience with young children and these graphic novels are always popular at our library. Next, we have a new Press Start book. This one is called Super Game Book. Um, this is from Thomas Flintum, Thomas Flintum. And it's about a, uh, a rabbit in a video game going on adventure. Next, we have a graphic novel from Nick Brule. This is the uh, Bad Kitty series. This one is called Bad Kitty Makes a Movie. Uh, very fun books. If you like the Bad Guys books or maybe the Captain Underpants books, um, Dogman, I think your kiddo would like the Bad Kitty books as well. And what I like about the Bad Kitty books is that they have like a lesson uh, involved with the books. I am money and I don't grow on trees. Um, Words by Julia Cook and Garrett Gunderson. Pictures by Josh uh, Cleland. This is really introducing kids to the concept of money, uh, what it's used for, uh, why people save it, uh, and different things like that. A great way to really get your child interested in personal finance 
and understand the value of money. Next, we have a young adult book. This one is called A Fragile Enchantment from Allison Saft. Allison, Allison Saft. This is a fantasy romance with this amazing cover. I really like that. Um, transporting readers to a Regency England inspired fantasy world. A Fragile Enchantment is a sweeping romance threaded with intrigue, unforgettable characters, and a love story for the ages. Very cool. And the last book in this box is called The Official Mind Diet with 60 Recipes, a scientifically based program to lose weight and prevent Alzheimer's disease. This is from Martha, Dr. Martha Claire Morris. Dr. Martha Claire Morris. All right, and now for the large box. Okay, in this box, we have a lot of children's books again um, and just a few adult books. Now I'm gonna start with a young adult book. It's a graphic novel that I've been looking forward to for years. It is the fifth volume of Heartstopper. Yes, it is finally back. Uh, Nick and Charlie are in love, but what happens next? This is volume five from Alice Osmond. Um, so I'm looking forward to this one. We have a juvenile graphic novel. This one is called Bizzard and the Big Bunny Business. Uh, Bizzard is a bear wizard and he goes on a lot of adventures with his friends and he has a unicorn uh, horn as well. <laughs> oh, it's by uh, Chrissy Krabs, Chrissy Krabs. Uh, next we have a, a new Sweet Valley Twins book. This one is called Choosing Sides. It's from Nicole uh, Andelfinger and Claudia Aguire. If you think the like, preteen or a young teen in your life would like something that's like clueless but only in middle grade uh, middle school then check out these sweet valley twins books it's based off of francine pascal's famous series next we have another graphic novel this one is called ghost roast ghost roast is from chanel gibbs and shawnee gibbs with emily cannon how do you fit in when your dad is a ghost hunter and you're starting to see spirits too? Oh, that sounds really cool. Next, we have a uh, juvenile novel. This one is called The Misfits Royal Conundrum. This one's from Lisa Yi and Dan Satat. Very cool. Lisa Yi did a lot of the uh, Maisie Chen books about soccer. So it looks like she's starting a new series with a group of misfits. And I love myself some misfit kid books. That's because I was a misfit when I was a kid. <laughs> Next we have an I can read book about sharks. This one is called Prehistoric Sea Monsters. Prehistoric Sea Monsters. All right, we have the Scholastic Year in Sports 2024. Uh, this covers the things that happened in sports in the last year. Another I Can Read book, this one is Snow White's Forest Friends. Snow White's Forest Friends. Uh, when it comes to these I Can Read books, it's always good to maybe have a book that the, the child already knows the story of so that they don't get as frustrated trying to understand the story. They're already familiar with what's going to happen. So they can really just focus on the words and learning how to put a sentence together. Next from uh, Kayla Miller, from Kayla Miller, this is called Break. This is the newest juvenile graphic novel in the Click series. I think this is number six, maybe. Um, once again, middle school, social relationships, uh, these graphic novels are a great way for kids to be introduced to drama that they don't have to actually experience themselves. Um, I always like my drama in my books, not in real life. Uh, so I get to learn about drama and how to handle conflict resolution in my books. And I feel like that is a great thing to learn when you're young reading books. Next, we have a Minecraft book. This one is called The End of the Overlord. We have a new Pizza and Taco book. Yes, Pizza and Taco is back with Wrestling Mania from Stephen Shaskin. 
I can read book uh, Barbie, you can be a ballerina. And there's actually another one in here. Barbie, you can be a gymnast. So it is two books in one, which is very cool. We have from Drew Daywalt, a new Quran book. This one is called Happy St. Patrick's Day from the Qurans. Yes, St. Patrick's Day is gonna be coming up in a few months. Another Minecraft book, this one is from Cube Kid. This one is called A News Diary of an 8-Bit Warrior. And the uh, this title is called Into the Nether. Into the Nether. If you played Minecraft, the Nether is the last part of the game. More I Can Read. This one is called Words Are Magic from Azalea Avante Guard. All right, a new Grumpy Monkey book. This one is called Spring Fever from Suzanne Lang. From Suzanne Lang. I love the Grumpy Monkey books because they're so funny. Yes. All right, here we go. Buffalo Fluffalo. <laughs> You're great who you are. From Bess Caleb and Aaron Cran. Let's check out a picture in here. Oh, he's a very fluffy, uh, curly-haired buffalo. It could be a, a, a lady buffalo. Next, from Dev Petty, we have Don't Trust Cats, Life Lessons from Chip the Dog. Yes. Um, these books are a lot of fun. From Mike Bolt, really big words, really striking visuals in these um, Chip the Dog books. We have Don't Eat Bees here on the shelf now. And... Um, the last children's book is called Angela's Glacier uh, by Jordan Scott and illustrated by Diana uh, Sudayaka. It's a beautifully illustrated book. And this is really about the love for nature, getting back to nature, and how nature is a very healing thing. All right, then the couple of adult books that I have. We have Danielle Steele's newest book. It's called Upside Down. Upside Down uh, delivers a poignant novel about a mother and daughter who must repair their relationship and find a way to follow their hearts. Yes. All about second chances with Danielle Steele. And the last book for today is Rethinking Diabetes. What science reveals about diet, insulin, and successful treatments from Gary Tobbs. He is the person that wrote Why We Get Fat. So kind of like a rethinking of diabetes, an eye-opening investigation into the history of diabetes research and treatment. So really cool. So really what it talks about is what did people do before they had insulin and they had diabetes? How did people handle diabetes you know, a couple hundred years ago? So yeah, that should be interesting to a lot of people. So that is a lot of children's books today. I hope you saw something here that you would like to check out. Make sure you stop by and check out a couple books. Uh, thank you once again for watching the video. Let us know in the comments what you're looking forward to reading and just say hello and make sure you say hello when you come into the library. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.